four. Shall the town of Hampton vote pursuant to RSA 231-139 to provide for the appointment of a tree warden and to determine the tree warden's duties in the following manner. Section 1, notwithstanding any general or special provisions of law to the contrary, the town manager with the advice and consent of the Board of Selectmen shall appoint a tree warden who shall have the powers of tree wardens contained in New Hampshire RSA Chapter 231 and amendments thereto. Section 2, the tree warden shall promulgate rules and regulations for the protection, preservation, maintenance, and removal of public shade trees that if approved by the selectmen after a public hearing and upon being filed with the town clerk and being posted in two public places shall become effective. Section 3, the tree warden shall be removable from office for misconduct after a hearing before the Board of Selectmen who shall certify any such removal and the reasons therefore in writing to be filed with the town clerk whereupon the tree warden shall be removed from office and the vacancy created filled by appointment in accordance with section 1 of this act. Section 4, the tree warden shall receive such compensation as the selectmen shall determine. This, section 5, this article <coughs> shall take a shall take effective upon its passage. And further, if this article is passed, the Town of Hampton Shade Tree Commission shall be abolished. Majority vote required, recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 34, moved by Mr. Pierce? Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Bean. Mr. Pierce, do you wish to be heard on this article? Uh, this, is, this is something that um, came to our attention a while back, I think, that a uh, town manager probably could talk more about than I could from a knowledge point of view, that's for sure. But my understanding is it would give us more flexibility in watching the trees and happen because you may recall in the last oh, year or so, and I don't want to get into any of the details, it seemed there were some trees cut down that probably shouldn't have been cut down, and the list just goes on and on line, along that line. And if we have sort of a dotted line of responsibility, that might help that uh, situation some. So that's basically what it is. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Mr. DeRosier. Dick DeRosier, 40 Salt Meadow. Um, I'm not opposed to hiring a tree warden. I know there are a lot of trees in town that need to be fixed. However, I would like to have a better understanding of how much we're going to pay for this individual, why this is not in the operating budget, and what's it going to cost the town to hire a tree warden. So Mr. DeRocher has asked some questions. I don't know if anyone on the board uh, is prepared to uh, Our answer. kind, generous, overworked public works director is going to be the next tree warden. So this is going to go in Keith's budget? No, it doesn't have to be in his budget. It's part of his duties. Oh, he's going to do the work? He's going to be the tree warden. Okay. We'll try not to be very mean to him because so like he's you, a nice person. So like you volunteer for the budget committee. You volunteered to help us So out. what I'm understanding is that Keith Noyes is actually going to be the tree warden? Yes, and this, this gives That's him the authority to, to him. set up parameters and, and uh, or, uh, rules and regulations. We have to do this to give him the authority to set up rules and regulations for the town. Good. I but will, I promise he'll be very good. And I'll he won't be glad to go mark the trees for him. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Mr. You. DeRocher. Mr. Lupley. So that means I can't be tree warden. Well, and next, there's always next Wasn't there month. some discussion at last year's town meeting about a tree warden? Well, Mr. Lupley, I, I let it get out a little bit out of control the last discussion. But if you've got questions, um, I'll see if was there any prior um, action last year about a tree warden on last year's warrant. Not last year, Mr. Moderator, but there was action three years ago. This body voted to file a bill with the general court asking the general court to permit the selectmen or some other body in the town to appoint a tree warden. Originally, tree wardens had to be appointed by the state and responsible to them and not to the town. We asked the uh, legislature to undo that. What they did is they rewrote the entire statute dealing with tree wardens and conferred that authority on all the cities and towns. So in doing that, town council has said that we actually have to uh, come in and accept that statutory uh, change so that we can actually appoint our public works director to be the tree warden at no cost to us. Thank you, uh, Mr. Welch. Mr. Sack. Uh, Larry Sack, 13 Hilda Drive. Um, I just have a question. Does this include planting trees? So it's just removal of them because there should be a, plant, a tree planted when everyone's taken down. 
that there is, by, Mr. Moderator, there is by statute a provision within this law that governs all public shade trees, whether they're being planted, whether they're being donated, or whether they're being removed. And he's responsible to formulate a program to take care of all those contingencies. All right, because it does not say that up there. Maybe it should be added. That it's, it's in the law. It's in the, it's in the statute. Thank you, Mr. Wallace. Mr. Moody. Art Moody, does this include ornamental trees? Just says shade trees. The ones that planted in the, uh, by the gazebo uh, were planted for ornamental reasons. Usually these laws always say shade and ornamental. Mr. Moderator, in answer to the question, the, if an ornamental tree is planted on town property, it becomes property of the town as a public shade tree. Yeah. And they're governed the same way. If an ornamental tree is planted by an individual, that tree is their property, whether it's on town property or not, if they did not donate it. So it doesn't cover that for, for trees planted privately. Thank you. All right, see, Mr. Rainier, you want to be heard on Article 34. Richard Rainier, 29 Highland Ave. Uh, Mr. Moderator, through the, to the selectmen, um, uh, Sergeant Mary, Mary Louise Wesley, you mentioned that this, the Public Works Director is going to be the tree warden. Are you saying as a collateral duty of what he, what he is doing now? Or will there be extra compensation for that position? There's no extra compensated compensation factored in the budget. Are you trying to get a raise for Keith? That would be nice. But no, it's part of his duties. It'll be part of his collateral duties as public works director yeah. with no additional compensation right. performing these functions. Is that correct? Correct. I guess Mr. Pierce has something. Right? Well, Mr. Moderator. Oh, yes, right. thank you. Uh, we had a situation a while back where public works takes care of the trees around town property and that sort of thing, and which is fine uh, normally, but apparently caused some little excitement here and there. This way we have sort of a formal path, if you will, because public works already takes care of trees that are on the public property and all that sort of thing, town property. So it really doesn't change much in that arena. And what that does is give us a formal path of, if we're going to chop down the tree that's in front of Mike Pierce's house that's on town property, there's going to be a path for that mm -hmm. to take. So I, can, I will have an opportunity to fuss if I don't want to chop down because I might like it from my property, even though it's on town property. And that's what happened a while back. If it's on my property, then it's, it's out of the question anyway. So that is part of it, the reason why I'm very supportive. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. All right, seeing nothing further on Article 34, it will appear on the ballot as printed.